when I talk about prospecting, there's three different channels that work extremely well. Happy hump day, got a busy day, got a couple meetings, jumping on my Agency University live Q&A, which I'm always excited to bring value to the members and answer their questions for what can really grow their agency faster. Because I remember you know, running my agency and uh, you know, I just felt so alone and frustrated and I didn't know what to do next. But if I had someone where I could bounce ideas off of and make sure I was making the right decision or get a second opinion, then after the Agency University, I'd jump on a plane to go to Vegas, be there for a couple days speaking at a conference. But I wanna do something right now that I haven't done in a long time, is answer your guys' question on Swank Today. So let's get into it. Eddie asked, we do extremely well at converting prospects into customers. We just need more prospects. What have you seen as the most effective form of prospecting? Well, Eddie, it really comes down to the systems that you have in place. And you really gotta look at, do I have a defined niche or niche that you're really targeting? And do you understand crystal clear of what they want and what their biggest challenges are. Because once you know that, then you can get into positioning your agency to attract more of them. Too many agencies, too many businesses go after everybody and anybody. And that's just too broad of a market. And you're going to look like a me too business, a me too agency. And you really need to niche down in order to position yourself and then make sure that you have the right offering. Then once you have the right offering, it's all about now I can get into the the prospect. You need the foundation and the foundation is niche positioning and having the right offering. Now you can get into prospecting. And when I talk about prospecting, there's three different channels that work extremely well. And you really need three different channels because at any one time, one channel can go down. The first one is outbound. And this is probably the best one for when you're getting started or when you feel the pressure of, man, I need to make payroll. I need some stuff coming in because if I can chat with the right person, I can actually reach them and outbound is great. But here's the deal. You need to do research and you need to come up with what I call kind of like the top 50 list. Like who would be the top 50 perfect prospects that we could go after that would be a perfect client for us. Do some research, see how you can help them out and pick up the damn phone. Send them out an email that's targeted, but it has to be targeted and you have to have done your research ahead of time. You know, there's a great podcast episode that I did, I think it's number four, where I interviewed Del Ross of IHG, International Hotel Group, and we talk about how can a smaller agency get into bed with some of these big brands. And he says, look, I get calls all day long saying, you know, hey, let me take you out to lunch, let me do you this, and it's non-targeted. But if he got a call saying, hey, have you heard of this new thing for the hospitality industry? I'd love to show it to you. You know, he always had play money for it, but it took picking up the phone and doing the research ahead of time. The next part is inbound. What kind of valuable content are you putting out? Do you have a podcast? If you don't have a podcast, you're crazy because the audio experience right now is just crushing it, especially as we all multitask. You know, are you putting out videos? Even if you're just putting out blogs, it's better than nothing. So you've got to be putting out valuable content for that particular market that you're going after. That's why it goes back to the foundation, it's so important. And then the last channel is strategic partnerships. Who else is going after your market? Who else could you strategically align yourself with? Not just for referrals back and forth, but that two plus two equals 100 versus two plus two equals four, right? So those are the three different channels, outbound, inbound, and strategic partnerships. That's what I would do, but great question, Eddie.